Tonight, one inmate is still on the run after he and another inmate escaped from the Fentress County Jail. We've been following the search for more than a day now. The Fentress County Sheriff's Office says this pair of inmates you see here escaped from the jail yesterday morning. Now, we're told they took a corrections officer's car, drove away, and then continued on foot. Now, one of the two, Casey Ridenauer, was captured this morning. Before the escape, he was already facing charges of second-degree murder and abuse of a corpse. TBI says Charles Kennedy has still not been found. Six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel went to Fentress County today. That's where she met the owner of a business where the escaped inmates were spotted. The Fentress County Sheriff's Office says it has had officers searching the Tenchtown Road area, including a winery where those two escaped inmates were seen. I was here by myself and the phone rings. I answer and they, it simply said Fentress County Sheriff's Department um, is on the lookout for two escaped inmates. They were last seen at Highland Manor Winery. Please be on the lookout. Don't approach them. Call 911. That was yesterday morning. Highland Manor Winery owner Rhonda Moody got an automated phone call that a pair of inmates on the run were last seen at her business. Instinct was to look at the cameras and make sure no one was in the building with me, uh, but it, it was kind of eerie. Moody locked down as deputies swept the property, surveying more than 70 acres of it. Every nook and cranny, every closet, uh, you know, just looking in any place that, that they could possibly be hiding. But that wasn't the last she saw of state and local officials. They kept a presence in her parking lot all day long. They stationed a state trooper in our parking lot, kind of overlooking everything for a while, and the sheriff's department actually stayed out here until 9.30 last night. Overnight, authorities captured one of the inmates. That has brought a sense of relief to Moody, though she says she's still keeping some precautions in place as the sheriff's department now tries to find the second escapee. Still keeping as much on lockdown as we can. We don't have any extra doors open. We're not putting our customers out on the patio. We're still doing the inside picnics and things like that just for everyone's safety. And the sheriff's office is also preaching caution. Their latest social media post warns people in the Woodlawn and Commerce Drive area to be alert alert and to make sure they don't leave their keys or weapons in their cars. Reporting in Fentress County, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Elizabeth, thank you. Uh, take another good look here for a moment at your screen. Again, Charles Kennedy is still at large tonight. If you know where he is, you need to call 911.